Hey there, Tapas Fleming here, TATLife.com. I heard other people have been feeling like I was feeling recently, feeling uncertainty, unease, fearful, sad. I don't know about you, but for me, it was related to a vision I had, like life is going to be really crashing and getting darker. And there was like, I wrote about things because I knew I was going to do some TAT for myself, but like there was this voice saying, uh, there's no way out. And then just to make the whole bunch of things um, bigger and related to me, I thought of a couple things from my childhood that put me in a place of sadness, fear, feeling powerless, and added those to the mix of what I was going to work on. Because I find that the things that uh, only get under my skin and drag on me and make me feel really bad usually have some way that they're reflecting some unresolved childhood something or others. So uh, that's what I'd suggest for you too, you do that. So I'd suggest that you just take a minute half a minute, whatever, and write down what are you feeling that's in that mix of ooh. So for you, it might have a vision of uncertain future or fear of the future or sadness, like bad things are going to happen. This is how it was for me. And I'm going to lose being who I am. I'm going to lose being my um, boyfriend's girlfriend and my daughter's mom and um, other close relationships like that that mean a lot to me. I was gonna like, I'm gonna die or they're gonna die. And it's just this uh, going, going on. And just so you know in advance, after just a few minutes doing TAT at all, like oof. So that's what I'm hoping for you. I'll walk you through a short, nice short version of what I did and hope it helps you. So I'm gonna imagine you've paused this or whatever, finished writing your things down and we'll do a little TAT together about whatever that mix is for you. It might be, it might be just a couple of those things or all of them. It might be related to an imagined future, it might not, whatever. So whatever's going on for you, that's what we'll do at our TAT about together now. Okay, so the first thing we do is the heart pose. It's whichever palm you like over whichever at your heart chakra, that means near your heart, but midline, okay? And we'll make this big intention together. This healing is on behalf of you, your whole family, all your ancestors, your conscious and subconscious mind, all the parts of you, all the points of view you've ever been identified with, for all beings involved, all beings who'd like to benefit, and it'll happen in a way that is safe and easy. And we'll do the TAT pose. That's whichever uh, hand you like thumb and ring finger, light touch, just above the upper inner corner of each eye, middle finger right in the middle, um, and a little bit above your eyebrows and your other hand at the base of your skull, so that your thumb is just above your hairline. You're not sticking your thumb in the notch back there. It's just like that, flat across the back, okay? No pressure, light touch. So I'm going to say some statements and um, while you do the pose, actually, I'll do it with you, do this together. So if you like, you can make the intent that this is on behalf of not just you and your family, but everyone who watches this. And like we said in the intention, all beings would like to benefit. Okay. Everything that led up to my resonating, identifying, and connecting with this happened. And this means all that stuff you wrote and felt and noticed in yourself. Okay, I'll say it again. Everything that led up to my resonating, identifying and connecting with this happened. All that happened 
it's over or hasn't happened in the future. And I don't need to resonate, identify, or connect with this. All that happened, it's over, and I no longer resonate, identify, or connect with this. All the places in my mind, body, and life where this has been stored are healing now. And we don't need to know what those places are. It's just making a big intention. And then I'm going to use the word God, which you can use this statement or not use it or substitute the word God for something you'd like better. God, thank you for healing all the places in my mind, body, and life where this has been stored. All the origins of this are healing now. God, thank you for healing all the origins of this. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> then choose whatever you would like to be true for you now. Like, I feel at ease full of love and joy right now. You can make a statement like that or even though I don't know the future, I'm at ease and relaxed right now. Whatever you feel like choosing, just make it a right now, this is how it is kind of statement. But you can start it off with I choose, like I choose that I now am happy, relaxed, and full of joy. So you can write one thing, several things. Once you have that, then do the pose again and say all that yourself silently or out loud three times. And then if you want to, look over what you wrote or what you thought of or were feeling before we started doing the TAT and see what remains. Like, oh, maybe there's a little fear, some uneasiness, whatever. And you can just replay this about those things that are left. Anyway, don't be in the TAT pose more than 20 minutes in a day, okay? It makes too much heat and intensity in your head. Okay, I really hope this helps you out. I immediately felt a lot better, more um, connected, more at ease, and more like, ah, there's joy in my heart now, really. So that's what I'm hoping for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.